Hey! Uh, yeah, hi. Uh, Spaceman here. Again. Getting up to some Witcher shenanigans. Um. So yeah, I guess my last episode, or rather my first episode, was a little long, so I'm gonna try to cut that shit down. Um. But anyway. A lot of this seems out of context, so I guess I should give some quick background info on what uh, Geralt here is doing in the swamp in the middle of a peasant land. Um, yeah, so basically, I, uh, yeah. I don't know where I'm going. Uh, so basically, um, you know, I'm level 12, started the game a while ago, I already finished the, the first act, um, and I'm in the second one. But yeah, so we're going to give some context on uh, what's going on here. Basically, uh, where I am in the game right now, uh, Geralt here is looking for, like, you know, his daughter, basically, but not, like, biologically daughter because witches can't have children or whatever but he raised her basically so daughter um but back to the beginning uh so act one basically uh Geralt here gets a uh message from his lady uh Yennefer of Vengerberg which is like the coolest name I've ever heard Vengerberg Vengerberg anyway um so it's like his sorceress lady 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 you know um so yeah he gets a letter from her basically saying hey we gotta meet in this town he's like oh shit we gotta meet in this town and then he goes to meet her in this town but it's been raised by war so you know because war stuff is happening and that's bad um so yeah war stuff is bad uh, so that was happening, and then the first act is basically Geralt uh, trying to track down Yennefer and be like, Yo, bitch, what's going on? Um, but after all the shenanigans you do, she ends up finding you and is like, Hey, fool, this, this is what's going on right now. And Geralt's like, Alright, cool. And uh, basically, she takes you to meet this uh, emperor bro of the uh of Nilfgaard which is like this invading occupying army um yeah and they're kind of occupying uh where is it give me that map how do I go back oh yeah world map so yeah basically uh I don't know the countries but anyway so they're like the occupying force here and the emperor's like yo hey your daughter's like important or some shit, so I'm gonna pay you to go find her. And Geralt's like, alright, fine. I was gonna do it anyway, but I'll take money. Uh, Cause witchers. Um, and yeah, so basically that's where I'm at right now. I'm trying to track down uh, his daughter, uh, Siri. Which is the, uh, the white haired lady. I've seen a bunch. Not a witcher, just crazy magical beans. I guess ladies can't be witchers for reasons. But yeah. You got cat eyes. No, you don't. I got cat eyes. Whatever. It's fine. So. Part of the whole tracking down Siri dealy was I had to go meet with this self-proclaimed Baron dude. Uh, he's a Baron by virtue of he moved into this abandoned area with a bunch of soldiers and is sort of running the place. Um, but he's an alcoholic, abusive, jerk nozzle, douche nozzle, if you will. Basically, he's like, hey, my wife and daughter got kidnapped, you gotta go find them, and I'm like, oh. No, like, nah, he beat his wife. That's cool. It's not cool. Don't do that. Um, but yeah, so basically, like, his wife pledged allegiance to those weird witch ladies that we met last episode. Uh, what were their names? Uh, baby legs, basket face, for eyes. I guess that's what I'm calling them now. We're going to deal with that. Um, but anyway, I still had a job to do, so... 
found his wife, so I'm gonna go talk to him and see how well he takes that. His wife being, you know, an indentured servant to some weird witch ladies who live in a bog and eat people. What up? I'm listening. What do you come to me with? Let's play cards. Got news of your wife. Plowing hell, why do you not say so forthwith? Where is she? Why have you not returned with Bitches her? Bitches have her. She's in Crookback Bog. Got food, a place to live, and keeps herself busy. Didn't look like she had the slightest desire to leave. You were to bring her back, not report on the condition she lives under. I was supposed to find her, and I did. That was our deal, nothing more. You still think me rotten to the core? A base bastard, don't you? You believe I alone am at fault for what happened to you? Yes. <laughs> Actually, that's exactly what I think. The world might seem black and white to you witches. But for us common folk, it's shades of grey. As is my family's story. Uh, alright. Probably gonna say you're not the only one to blame. Alright then, I'm willing to hear your side of the story. Use your words. With Annie, it was love at first sight. A spear tore through my shoulder at the Battle of Anchor. She tended to my wound. Once I'd recovered, I asked her to marry me. She wept with joy. Soon after, Tamara was born. And after that, they sent me to Sidaris. A warlord had risen against King Ethan. And Faltest sent help. It was one battle to the next, one conflict after another. It was a life of war. I was seldom home, and I found comfort in drink. Grew so fond of hooch, I couldn't part with it when I did get home. All right. What then? I went from front to front, battle to battle, collecting soldiers' coin, while Anna sat alone with the babe for months. Later, I learned she'd not been so alone after all. Oh. In nearly three years, she'd found comfort in the arms of one ever. Jody got to her. A childhood friend. A dog's bunghole. Understand, damn it. One tussle in the hay I'd have waved aside, put it out of my mind. But the woman cuckolded me for years without a whisker of concern for me, for my love. How'd you find out? Came home one day and Anna was gone. Her things too. Found a letter. She wrote that she didn't love me. That she'd left me for that knob liquor and taken Tamara with her. Felt like I'd been rammed in the ass by a horse. Rough. I went to find the bugger. To get the girls back. Bring them home. Yet soon as I saw him, something turned inside me. Something dark. I slaughtered the shit-eating twat and fed his carcass to Yeah, that dogs. escalated quickly. Guess they call you the Bloody Baron for a reason after all. What? Your nickname. Makes sense now. No, no, that's an entirely different story. Yeah, sure. Imagine Anna wasn't exactly pleased. Ha! Bloody understatement if I've ever heard one. She flew into a fit. Hysteria. Threw herself at me, kicking and clawing. Finally grabbed a knife. It would have been the end of me if I'd not leapt aside. It was the first time I hit her. 
I had to calm her. I felt I had no other means. Things changed. They would never be the same. Anna tried to take her own life and mine several times. She would prod me, goad me, taunt me in the hope I would hit her again, perhaps. She'd scream that I'd robbed her a life of love, that I'd destroyed the idea for her and so might as well kill her. How many times I apologized. How many armfuls of blooms and gifts I brought. She cared not a bit. Two years of her anger had turned to indifference. Broken at times were her bouts of hysteria and my bouts of drunkenness. I cannot fathom how we survived those years. But we did. Now as you know now, not everything was as it might have seemed. <laughs> <laughs> don't care no yeah they both you both got issues you're right faults on both sides yours and hers I'm content that you finally see that very well then if you won't bring Anna home you might at least tell me how she landed in that blasted swamp Your wife is with the crones, as their servant. What the fuck do you mean? <laughs> what crones? Ones who live in Crookback Baby Mall. legs, basket face, and oh, bees for eyes. I've heard folk speak of them. I thought it naught but tales to scare the children with. How on earth did she land there? She made a pact with the crones and... Well, I think she might have lost her mind. A pact? What the bloody hell? She was with child, a child she didn't want to bear. Went to the crones for help. They promised to rid her of the problem in exchange for a year of her service. And they kept their word, in their own twisted way. What do you mean? Anna must have thought the child inside her would somehow disappear. Instead, the crones sapped her of strength, and ultimately forced her body to miss uh. I think bitches. That's when she started to lose her mind. I'm gonna stab them, bitches. Then they placed magic tethers on her. Tethers that cause great pain when tested. A guarantee she'll pay off her debt. A pact with witches? Bloody nightmare. Sounds like some jest. We must get her out. We can't leave her there. Venturing into the swamp, even with armed men, is just a bad idea. It's a dangerous place inherently. And I think those crones are a greater threat than anyone realizes. I'll not sit on my ass waiting for them to return her. Would you wait? Count on their mercy if they had your daughter? No, they were gonna Probably eat not, my daughter. But I'm a witcher. And I'm a husband and a father who's fucked up his life and the lives of his loved ones. I'll gather my men. Go there and retrieve Anna. <sighs> Alright, it's your funeral, bro. We had a deal. I've done my part. Your turn to do yours. A word once given. Now what did I last? Basilisk. It had just attacked you. Ah, right. Gargantuan. One solid brute. It landed. Ah. I thought we'd breathed our last. Watch out! If I don't survive this, you're to take whatever you want from the fortress. You'll survive! <sighs> Let's show this bastard what we're worth! Oh, I'm the lady. Yes. Poisonous. All right, I gotta back off. I don't get items as the lady here. Ah. 
Ow, dang it. I died. That's rough. All right, let's do this properly. I don't got all my cool Witcher shit, man. It's lame. I guess we're going to watch this loading screen, though. So that's cool. You can't see it right now, but I'm dancing. These facts are important. Tips. Facts. Alright. Fight me. Dang it, I'm gonna die again. How did that poison me? Did I get it? What's happening? What? No, you're dead. Alright. One more, one more time. When throwing a bomb or shooting a bolt from your crossbow, you can either take advantage of auto-aiming for a quick attack or aim manually for more precision. Hold the jump button while in the air to grab onto a ledge. For our, for our viewers who can't read, I guess. Vitality regenerates when you eat. On lower difficulty levels, it also regenerates during meditation. If a quest is yet to level, shown in the quest menu, it's too high for you. Level up and look for better gear. Where is it? Alright.
Really? You fat bastard? Fight me. There, it's dead. Third time's a charm, I guess. Ah, shit. Ah, jeez. It's gonna be fun. Damn it! I can't leave him like that. How do I get up there? Maybe the opposite way. This looks climby, right? Climbing them rocks. I'll cut you wide the fuck open. Skills. Don't worry, it happens to lots of guys. You have everything? Yes, thank you. What you did for me, I, I shall never forget it. I certainly hope not. It's brought me no small trouble. Meaning? I must flee. Wraiths pursue me. The wild hunt. I was foolish to use the power. They're sure to have caught my scent. The wild hunt? Pursuing you? I'll endanger all of you by remaining here. You must tell the people to bar their doors and windows. And no one is to wander the night. And you? Where do you think you're going? Now, I ride for Novigrad. And then, who knows where. Cool. She mounted and rode off. It grew awfully empty without her. Redanian armies blocked the Pontar crossing, yet you sent Ciri to Novigrad. She was looking for a sorceress, and all of them are in Novigrad. Besides, I didn't leave her at the Redanians' mercy. I gave her a letter of safe conduct. Where do you get these letters? Haven't always led this pack of jesters. Served in the Temerian army once. Redanians guard the crossing. 
True. But with a bit of fame and a friend here and there, well, banners and heraldry don't mean so much. So there's a chance Ciri's still in Novigrad. Thanks for helping her. It's nothing. Now you've learned what you wanted to know, you must be in a hurry. But, if you could... Spit it out. I want to go get Anna. Free her. Bring her back. I don't believe she's there willingly. Must have not heard me. Any journey into the swamp is suicide. I heard you. Which is why I could use your aid. I've no more tales of Siri to offer you. But go with me and I'll be generous with what I do have. Very generous. Alright. If I get to stab the weird ladies that try to eat my daughter, I'll be on board with this shit. Hmm. Extra coin never hurt. Ha! True indeed. Or money. Money's Round nice too. Men and ride to Down Warren. You can join us there. Fine. Sounds good. What the Holy Christ. What the There you are. What the fuck? What the fuck is that? Sorry, we was never here. What was that? You tell me. Man or monster? <coughs> My men call him Uma and say he's a beast, but he seems a man to me, just hideous as idle shit. I have so many questions. Uma? Strange name. Aye, strange, but he gave us no other. You mean he can talk? Hardly. It was like this. I asked what they called him. He sat there, not saying a thing, trying to stick a toe up his nose. So I grabbed his hand, looked him in the eyes, and asked, What's your name? Gave me this damned foolish look and stammered, Ooh, Uma? And it stuck. Hmm. Doesn't look like a monster, but my medallion's trembling. Strange. Where'd you find him? Funny story, actually. I what? It in a game of cards. Must have been pretty desperate to play for that. Ah, oh, quit your carping, smart ass. Someone wagered him and we played. If anyone was desperate, it was the bugger's former master. Funny story. How so? I went to Novigrad once to rest, indulge in the city's pleasures. Stayed at a tavern and some folk they were playing, so I joined in. Cards were kind that day. Had one devilish hand after another. Robbed the horses blind. One fellow, the merchant, took it especially hard. He'd gambled away everything he'd brought from Skellige. Wanted terribly to play another hand, so I agreed. Asked him what he had to wager, and he showed me that sideshow. Not much in it for me, but fuck it, I thought. I'll give the man a chance to win something back. Luck was not with him. And Uma wound up here at Crow's Perch. End of story. Hilarious. Real side splitter. <laughs> oh, you wouldn't know a good tale from a real cat. <laughs> oh, my God. Proper baron now. Even got a jester. Aye, though I feel something's not right with him. How so? Well, he seems more beast than man. But there's wisdom, cunning in the bastard's eyes. Or maybe I'm imagining it. Ever run into anything like him? No, but he doesn't look dangerous. Hmm. I guess that's that. Doesn't eat much, so as long as he's no trouble, the boys might as well have some diversion. Time I was on my way. So long. Farewell. I hope you find your daughter. And prove a good father to her.
All right, I'm running up on time here, so I uh, think I'm going to do some uh, inventory shenanigans, sell some crap, and uh, yeah, I'll be back. All right.